Okay, today we have a 50 inch Samsung. This is a UN50NU6900B, as in boy, 50 inch LED. And I'll go ahead and plug it in and you can see what's going on with it. Does come on. Here's a startup, and it has a totally black screen on one side, on the right side. Okay, so I'm just going to assume that we have an LED problem, hopefully. Or, well, actually, hopefully not. Hopefully, it's just something on the power supply board, but most, like, most, like, uh, most likely the case is bad LED strip. This is an edge lit TV, so obviously, there's a strip on top here and one on this side, I'm just assuming. And the one on this side, most likely, is out. So we go ahead and take this bad baby apart and let's see what the fluck is going on. Okay, just to verify the model number of this TV. Once again, at the very top, UN50NU6900B and as you can see this TV was manufactured in September of 2018 just a little bit over two years old okay now obviously as you can see this television does not have any screws in the back cover for us to take the back cover off we need to you know Usually there's some screws there, right? But evidently, what happened? Now, I don't know who was Samsung thinking about when they made, when they start making televisions like this with no screws, were they trying to prevent consumers from getting into them? Were they prevent, were trying to prevent technician from going inside of them? Was it supposed to be water resistant so you can hang it outside on the covered patio? I don't know. But there are, fortunately for us, some tools that they make to get this back cover off, okay? Okay, so these are like mainly the two or three tools that you're gonna need. Uh, you, actually, you actually definitely need that long screwdriver because there are actually some holes on this TV at the bottom which you're gonna have to stick something long and skinny in there and kind of pry off the bottom corners and then to get the rest of the sides off. The two on the left, the white ones, are the, what you're gonna use to pry into the, uh, you know, the back cover on the sides and pry the sides up and uh, thus eventually removing the entire back cover. Now the screwdriver, you're gonna have to probably get that on your own or find something that's long and skinny like that. Uh, the other two, you can get off eBay. Uh, I think the smaller one in the middle was like five bucks and the other one was like, I don't know, $8, I'm not sure. Uh, but I'll leave the links in the description. Okay, so we'll start with that. Okay, as we're looking at this TV from the bottom, from the corner, um, as you can see, there's a hole right there. And there's also one on the other side. And that's how the procedure to start to take this back cover off is get something long like this. Okay. I'm going to stick it in. And kind of pry the back cover up like so. Okay. Not too much force, not too much because you can crack the back cover and or the bezel, okay? And we're gonna go to the next one. Okay. Okay, so once I start with this, I'm actually gonna take this in here and lift it up. Being very careful not to be too forceful.
Then after doing that, you may want to double check, make sure you didn't crack the screen. <laughs> While you're just doing that, right? Okay, so obviously out of these two, I've used this one before plenty of times. I just wanted to try this one. My first time using it, as you can see, it got all scrunched up on the ends. Okay, um, first time using it, but this is much better. Um, so I would probably prefer this one for these back covers. And as you can see, once I pretty much is really simple. Once you get it started down here, take this and get up under there and just work your way all the way around. Okay, if you can put not too much force on it until you start hearing the click. And as you can see, these little clips are what the back cover is clipped onto. Okay, so it doesn't need any screws. Okay, and if, if you can see, these are the actual clips that clip into the metal pieces. Right here, going all the way around the sides. Okay, and you can see that is going, these little metal pieces, these little metal brackets that are going all the way around. Okay, that is what the back cover is clipped onto. So you have to get this in there good enough to unclip it, okay? So first things first, I'm going to take off the speakers, okay? But I'm getting ahead of myself here. Before I ever do that, hold on one second, we'll take these speakers off anyway. And these speakers are actually connected in series, it looks like, wait a minute. Yeah, okay, first time I'm seeing that. Okay, so this plug goes to the main board. Okay, and then it goes to the one speaker on the right, marked R, and comes out and goes to the left speaker. Okay, so it's just one plug with the four wires on it. Okay, which is kind of cool. All right, and this always is going to have to come off. It's connected to our auto bezel because our auto bezel is going to have to come off first. So. I think it's made into the outer bezel, as a matter of fact, let me see. Probably just unplugged that. And I actually got this TV out of a restaurant. That's why the back cover was so sticky. And this little, I think it's a, a piece of glass or a light. It's actually broke down here at the bottom. I don't know how that broke. Um, it's like it's been through some hard times there. <laughs> right? So, so obviously, I'm not sure this whole piece will come off or not, but before we get to that, we want to actually check our LEDs. Okay, so on this TV, as you can see, we have our power supply, our main board, and this is not using a T-Con board. It goes right from the T-Con board. It's either built in partially on the main board or partially on one of the driver boards. As you can see, we have the two LDVS cable or ribbon cables coming from the main board and going straight to the driver boards left and right. Okay, um, Wi-Fi monitor right here. So this is a smart TV. Does have direct internet connection. Okay, ethernet connection. Okay, which is obviously faster. Or you can use Wi-Fi for this TV. And that's about it. Besides the speakers, we just took off, right? And the remote control sensor here at the bottom, obviously. But we are going to go to the power supply where in most cases the LED plugs are plugged into for the actual backlights, okay? And as you can see, they use a clip connector. Okay, just like one of the other uh, Samsungs that I did. This board doesn't have, this board, check this out. This board also does not have any screws, okay? <laughs> That's crazy. It's like a no, it's a, a screwless TV. The back cover doesn't have any screws. The board doesn't have any screws. There's some clips right here. And you just lift up on it and it slides out after you, re you know, push this clip uh open and you slide out also via the main board also does not have any screws it also slides out via these clips right here which uh look like there's also a grounding point okay just lift up on it and it slides that away okay as you can see right but on our actual led plugs because i know a lot of you guys have been leaving comments in my videos saying that you don't have a led checker to check it you can always use your meter just to make sure that it is voltage going up there to the plug, okay? 
and that's a good indication that if this voltage going to the LED plug and you're not getting the backlights then you have a backlight problem okay uh, especially if it jumps up and goes back down but right next to that plug there is a legend okay CL the plug is CL I'm sorry CNL801 okay so pins one through looks like pin eight are plus and minus okay so there's two lines there's, there's two strips left and right okay our right one is obviously bad or was it left i forget but one side is bad and there are two lines on each strip okay used to dim to dim one side of the strip and you know depends on the scene but uh so we got one plus obviously one uh one and two is strip number one and on on the right and lines three and four off of the strip on the other side of the tv okay so actually what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna use i'm not gonna just use my meter just to double check and make sure that we're getting voltage going up there. The actual pins are on back of the plug. You will be able to be able to see them. They're just uh, like a gold looking pins. Just put your meter on the ones that are numbered. They're right behind here. Okay. And obviously there is an arrow for pin one. Okay. So that will obviously be our first pin. And what I'm gonna do, that is the pin one is one plus okay so that would be the plus voltage going to the line i'm just going to hold it here okay all right since i 160 already i'm just going to go ahead and plug the tv in and when the back lights come up let me turn this light off here okay i'm going to plug it in it should come on automatically. Okay, just did, got backlights, flash a little bit, and we got 193 volts on pin one. Now pin two is the minus, one minus, okay? That's the next one. That is the feedback voltage. That is the voltage, that is the voltage drop or the voltage at the end of the at the end of the uh, line after it drops voltage across each LED. So we started at 190, now we have 83 volts. So we have like an 80 volt voltage drop or 85 volt voltage drop, okay? Now the next one is the, the pin three, that it is the two plus line. Okay, that's the plus, volt, plus voltage for the second part of the strip. And as you can see, it is at 191 again, close enough. And then the return voltage on that is 90, one volt. Pretty much the same as the other one. A little different, but that's okay. Now the next line is for the next strip, three and four. So this is three plus. Okay, got 190 volts there again. And I'll go to three minus 0.8 volts. So pretty much zero. So in other words, we have an open LED, correct? And we'll go to the second part of the line, which is four plus and four minus. 192 volts again, so that obviously is the voltage. The power supply is most likely working. And we should also have maybe zero on this one. On the return line, four minus 0.8 volts again. So obviously we have the open LEDs on that second strip that is not lighting up. Okay, so let's proceed to take this bad baby apart uh, the rest of the way. Disconnect our LDVS cables right here at the point of connection to the main board. Then when we go to test fire it up, we can make sure that there's nothing going through this and coming back out here. And this is gonna to touch the ground, touch the chassis. Okay, so we'll just disconnect it from right here. Both wires, okay. Okay, and I'm thinking we could look at this um, remote sensor until it even comes off of this bottom. It's like it does come off. You know what, I'm just gonna leave that down for right now. I'm just gonna unplug it from right here. Okay, I got that unplug. Okay, just so we can get the outer chassis off. Okay, since the television power is on anyway, as soon as you plug it in to the AC, it's gonna come on anyway. So, so what we need to do is we need to free up these metal plates that are covering the driver boards. That way we flip it over and take off the outer bezel, which is the black part around the screen. The screen should be able to come right up okay so obviously these actually look like they're clipped in 
okay, except for these little support mounts, feet, that are marked on each side, okay? There's one here, and there's one here on the other side, okay? Right there, okay? And that is what's covering up, up our, we have to take those off first, we want to remove these brackets, which are covering the driver boards. So first thing is first, okay? Please, always do this. Keep some magic markers when you're doing this, okay? And where did mine just go? I just, I just had them in plain sight, okay? Okay? Yes, it's always very good to have these. These are very helpful using electronics. Especially, I see guys on YouTube taking the cell phones apart and stuff like that. I'm like, man, that's insane, but you know. But anyway, that way you won't forget to put it back on and you know which way it goes on. So I'm actually going to do is mark, I've got about 20 different colors of these right here. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to mark this here. That way I know where it goes. I'm also going to color the screws. Okay, there's only two screws. I'm going to put a ring around where the screw goes because obviously there's it's like there's more holes, but there's only two screws. And I'm going to do the same from this side here. Are the same ones there's no left and no right i think these are actually for i don't know what these are for are these four of the feet yes these are four of the feet okay all right so well obviously they have that one hanging on the wall okay in the restaurant okay now we're going to have to remove this one single metal bracket covering the driver boards okay now I'm gonna be very careful when I do this because hopefully, so obviously I can't lift it up without it squeezing it in from the top here. So let's see here. So I'm gonna be safe and sorry. I'm actually gonna leave those on here for right now and take off, flip the TV around and take off the outer bezel. Now, as far as I can see, there are some clips. I'll go ahead and show you right now. Around the outer bezel. Right there. Okay. So once I flip it around, I'm just gonna unclip these clips all the way around. Uh, they don't have any on the bottom, I don't think, but around the top and both sides, I'll click that and the bezel should wiggle right up and come right out, okay? And then I will attempt to remove that metal bracket that is covering the driver boards. Now these clips on the bottom, you're almost gonna have to like break them. Just make sure they're pulled out 
Okay. And there's one more right here that got stuck. And then hopefully there's nothing up under here. Looks clean. Okay, so, so far, looks like we are almost there. Okay, finally, got this outer bezel off. And these clips, these clips at the bottom here are a pain. So just take the, the, the sides and the top off first and clip that. And then kind of work down at the bottom. And you're probably going to have to break most of these off a little bit. But it's okay. So now we have to take our metal brackets back off. Metal brackets that were covering the driver boards, we have to release those, um, and we have to do them while the TV is laying on its back because we cannot turn the TV set over because obviously this is the screen here on top, and we will damage the screen. Okay, so we're gonna have to get up under here, and hopefully, um, they won't make this as hard as pulling those two old fat ladies out of a male strip club, but won't be that hard. But hopefully, um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be something to this. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, we got some clips right here. Ah, there we go. Being very careful when we do this. You can see that on camera. Disconnect. I'm just gonna disconnect my LDBS cables from the driver board because I don't. It's on this back and I don't want to bend them. Okay. When I flip the when I flip the driver board over, come on out of there. Okay. Now we are at our diffuser screen, okay? And this is where we have to use our marker. Very, very good, okay? Because we definitely want to start marking stuff as we take it apart from this point on, okay? So this is the bottom of the TV. This is obviously where our driver boards were at. So I always marked one corner on the bottom. I'm also gonna mark these brackets that's holding in the diffuser screen, which is right here. Okay, there's one, there's two, there's obviously the thick one at the very bottom, right in front of the LED lights, okay? The very thick, the very thick, clear one. Okay, so I'm gonna mark the corner of this. I'm gonna mark this corner, because these brackets that are holding in that last screen are separate. Okay, so it looks like four different pieces, so I know that this is the corner here. Okay, so first I'm gonna take this off. There's always some tape here. Let's remove this tape. If 
lay this in front of my other screen. And there's also a crack in here. I don't know how that got up in there. Wow. That is insane. We do have our very clear screen and we have to move all four of these brackets. One, two, three, four, in order to pull that out. And then we will be at our screen, okay? So, looks like the sides come off first. Okay, I've got that marked. I'm also gonna mark a very small dot in the corner of the actual clear screen. Okay, and now we're going to, we also got some, we got some, some clips on each side. So that should be pretty much self-explanatory, very easy. And as you can see on that clear screen with that crack edge you actually can see that crack is coming came from the heat of the LEDs against that last diffuser screen. Okay, or the first one. Okay, as you can see this melted right here. Okay, so that obviously the strip that blew out, it obviously caught on fire or whatever. Okay, or sparked or whatever. But I'm gonna get this last screen out. Uh, be careful when you take this last screen out because if you get any fingerprints or anything on here, it's gonna actually show up through the actual picture when you put it back together. Okay, so I'm just gonna, first of all, I'm gonna, I do have it marked, okay? I guess my chassis here, okay? So I know that this is a prop that goes up. Do not get these mixed up, do not flip them around. Make sure they go in there exactly as you took them out, okay? So, going to take this out like this I'm just going to put it and stand it up in a safe place do not lay it on the floor and obviously last but not least before we get to our LEDs we have our white paper I'm also going to mark that in the corner okay is that the same corner yes okay and take this off okay guys so these are our LEDs at the top. And as you can see, those are the ones, I put the TV set around. Those are the ones that were burnt and actually burnt the diffuser screen and cracked it, okay? Uh, those are burnt up very bad, okay? Wow, that is insane. So a few burnt. And those, just look, and they just use the regular LEDs, the same ones that they're using the backlit LED strips and okay so what I'm always going to do this one looks okay this one looks burnt you can replace both sides if you want okay so these are our strips these are the exact same strip for both sides um, so, obviously this side had a surge or something. You could actually replace those strips individually since they use the regular edge, I mean, I'm sorry, the regular backlit LED strips, like on a regular backlight strip. Let me show you here. I got one. Yeah, like right here, okay. See there? And so those, you can actually, you can actually fix those, okay. Um, the strips, but actually what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go here and place that one side. Maybe both, depends on how hard this side is to get off. 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to unplug it. Okay, I'm gonna plug that one side. Okay. I'm gonna get a hold into there. Okay. Okay. And I'm just going to mark a point where they meet at right here. Mark the end right here. Okay. It looks pretty flush against the back, so I'm just going to pry this off. I'm going to start right here, maybe. Okay, these actually have some little clips right here to hold it down. So I'm just going to have to bend that back up. Okay. Which might be better. Okay. That's one. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six per side. I pry those up and I just need to get something in here so I can get this process started. Okay. There we go. Just pull these off. These are no, this is no good. Off of here. Don't want that in the way. Okay. I'm going to take my new strip. I'm going to place it down here. And this one actually lines up to the grooves, which is very nice. Okay, very, very nice. Excellent, okay. So I'm gonna pull my adhesive paper off the back of the strip. And I'm gonna get my other glass too so I can see better. paper off. Come on. Okay. I'm going to align these up. Align them up with the notches. Don't press on it yet. Make sure it's even. Okay. That looks pretty even, and then press it on there, and that's it. Pull these back over.
plug it back in. Voila, we are good to go. Okay, another thing I'm gonna make a note about is that when you put these back together, people have been leaving me comments saying that one half the picture is jumping, there's lines in the screen when I put it back together, and I know there wasn't anything before, you know, I, I did it or, I, you know. 
these ribbon connectors right here. These contacts on the end of here. Look at them real close. Let me see if I get this on camera. Matter of fact, pull one off. I can zoom in on that. Yes, and what happens is sometimes you'll be trying to push this in and it's crooked and you'll, you'll take it back out and try to push it in the other way. And what happens is these bend, these pins or these contacts will actually bend on the end of here and cause you to get a bad picture with lines or pictures jumping on one side or one side looks like it's darker than the other side. So if that, if that does happen when you put this back together, always check those, pull the, uh, those cables out or if, if it uses the one cable, pull the one cable out. Okay, that's going to the T-Con board or whatever or the one that's going from the T-Con board to the actual driver boards. Okay, and just make sure that there's all these contacts are uniform and together. Okay, so that's about it. I get it right the first time. You don't have to worry about that problem. Slide right in. Do this one. Slide right in. right in okay okay plug in let's see what it looks like okay as you can notice the area is a slight you can't see it a little bit and is that middle actually darker I don't know I really can't tell actually it's not too bad as a matter of fact it's not too bad it just looks like that on camera but if because uh, I can see on my monitor what it's looking like. It looks like it's a big bar, which it might be, but the camera just, just amplifies it. But actually, when I turn it like this, I can barely, barely see it. And keep in mind, too, we've we got a white background. So, yeah. So, anyway, I uh, just have to give it to the customer like this. Just let them know that the screen got cracked due to the burnt up LEDs. And he's pretty cool. He's uh, on several chains of restaurants. So, he should be satisfied. Uh, like, okay, no problem. I didn't charge him that much money. So, no big deal. If he wants a discount, give him a discount, but I doubt it. He'll just say, thanks, man, it's good enough. Because he actually uses his television for the menu, you know, on the front counter where he puts the menu up there and you can change the menu. So, no big deal right there, right? Okay, so now, two things left. Our support for our feet, okay? Uh, I think they're going this way. All right, I'm wrong. Hold on, let's see here. Here we go. If I'm doing this correctly, this goes right there. Okay, screws. Last but not least, our speakers. Okay. Obviously, they only go on one way. All right. Did I match correctly? Um, let's see. Left, right. Okay, we've got two notches right here on each speaker. Let's right in. A little blue tabs. Plug in the speakers. I get to the main board and just make sure these boards are secure. Like I said, this one's secure because it's plugged in with the plug for the LEDs, which is made into the chassis. But this one will slide out on you a little bit. See what I'm saying? Yeah, so make sure that's back in there securely. Everything's grounded. Speakers, the LWS cables, everything's plugged back in. Now for our back cover. screws let's just snap that's the easy that's the good thing about no screws in the back cover no screws to put in when you put it back together just snap it right in
Okay guys, that's it. Okay, we are done. Um, let's see if I can pull anything up here. And then the remote's still working, so that's good. Don't worry about this spot right here. This comes from my suction cup. That'll eventually disappear. Okay, as the screen starts expanding back to its original position. But other than that, we are done. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Make sure that you do subscribe for more videos and hit the notification bell. Until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Big Dog, out.